Hey everyone, today I will be showing you how to use the proofing tools on the Windows MS Word. And here is how. To initiate the process, begin by accessing the file menu at the top left corner of the Microsoft Word interface. From there, navigate downwards and select Options. Once you have entered the Options menu, locate and click on Proofing in the left-hand sidebar. This will bring up a plethora of settings related to spell check and grammar check. Within the proofing options, you will encounter a variety of checkboxes and configurations to fine tune your spell check and grammar check experience. For example, you can opt to ignore words in uppercase, which is particularly handy for acronyms commonly used in technical documents or industry specific jargon. Similarly, you can choose to ignore words containing numbers, which is beneficial for excluding numerical identifiers or codes from spell check scrutiny. Moreover, you have the option to ignore internet and file addresses, preventing Word from erroneously flagging URLs or file paths as spelling errors. This feature is particularly useful when drafting documents containing web links or directory paths. For multilingual users, there is this option to enforce a scented uppercase, ensuring proper capitalization in languages such as French. However, this setting may not be relevant for everyone and can left be unchecked if unnecessary. Another valuable feature is the ability to suggest corrections from the main dictionary only. By enabling this option, Word will refrain from suggesting corrections from custom dictionaries, streamlining the spell check process. Furthermore, you can create custom dictionaries tailored to specific fields or industries, such as medicine, to avoid constant manual additions of specialized terms. When correcting spelling and grammar simultaneously, you can enable options to check spelling as you type and mark grammar errors as you type. However, some users may opt to disable the grammar checker for frequently confused words or other preferences. The grammar check settings offer an extensive array of refinements, ranging from detecting jargon and passive voice to ensuring formal writing conventions. These settings can be tailored to suit your writing style and preferences, enhancing the accuracy and clarity of your documents. Once you have configured the settings to your liking, you can utilize the spell check and grammar check features to identify and rectify errors within your document. The context menu provides convenient options to correct spelling and grammar errors promptly, enhancing efficiency and productivity. Lastly, the editor pane offers a comprehensive overview of your document's correctness, displaying the number of spelling errors, grammar errors, and refinement suggestions. This visual representation allows for easy identification and resolution of issues ensuring the highest standard of clarity and correctness in your writing. And that's it. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.